What's up guys, welcome back for another video. So first things first, I gotta say a huge thank you to everyone watching this video and a huge thanks to everyone that is subscribed to the channel. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but down in the corner over there, we finally hit 10,000 subscribers. That's a huge number for me and I wanted to say thank you to everyone that has been continually supporting the channel, liking, commenting, and of course subscribing to the channel over the years. It really means a lot. I know the videos have kind of started to slow down over the past couple months and that's primarily due to the cold weather and uh, I'm just kind of getting a little bit busier. But as winter comes, snow's going to start flying and we're going to have the quad out in the snow a lot every weekend so hopefully we'll have uh, some pretty good fun content coming to the channel in the next few months here. So again, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel and I've been kind of thinking about doing maybe a little bit of a giveaway but uh, I don't have any good ideas. So if you guys have any ideas, post them in the comments below and we'll see if we can make something happen. But anyways, let's get on with today's video. Today's video is gonna be about spark plugs. We're gonna be changing out the Raptor 700 spark plug with this E3 spark plug. Right now, I'm just running an NGK-R spark plug, pretty much the stock one it came with, which is just about four years old right now. So it is time to change the spark plug. I did a little bit of reading online about these E3 plugs and they're definitely uh, interesting and I'll show you guys why. So first off, let's go ahead and remove the old spark plug. So to remove the old spark plug, we're just going to come down to the right side of the quad and this is the spark plug right here. So we got to pull off the uh, plug first. It takes a little bit of force but just wiggle it a little bit and it just pulls right off. Hopefully you guys can kind of see but this is the spark plug right here and next thing we're going to do is take our 17, I believe that's what it is, 17 millimeter spark plug wrench. This side has a 17. I think this is a, uh, an either a 19 or a 21. I don't know on the other side, but it's a 17. I'm pretty sure. Go ahead and stick that on there and I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy out just like that. All right, here is the old spark plug and holy crap, this thing has seen better days. <laughs> there you guys can kind of see it. It's definitely blackened and, uh, Definitely needs to be changed. And what was in there was an NGKR uh, CR8E. Pretty sure this is just the stock plug it came with. So it's four years old. All right, so now let's go ahead and pop our E3 plug open. I wanna show you guys something about the spark plug. It's very, uh, it's a pretty unique plug. I should mention, make sure you're gentle with uh, your spark plugs. <laughs> you don't wanna drop your spark plug or anything like that. You guys probably know that though. If you drop your spark plug, I'd probably just get a new one to be honest. All right, here is our E3 plug. So let's go ahead and take a look at this up close. All right, so here are our two spark plugs. I'm gonna go ahead and put the new one down for now while we talk about what we were working with. This is our NGK. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, our electrode. So this is our ground electrode, the little arm that you see coming up. And then this is the center electrode, the piece in the middle. Come on, focus camera. Um, you guys can probably see that. But this is pretty much just a standard spark plug design. Just that little arm coming up from the center right over that center electrode. So here is our E3 plug. And I'll let you guys just go ahead and look at how our electrode is designed here if this camera would focus. But you guys can kind of see that the electrode is actually shaped much differently. There we go. It actually is shaped like a diamond. It doesn't just have one arm that comes over it has a diamond shape to it. It still has that center electrode, but the ground electrode is a lot different. And the unique design of the E3 plugs electrode is what allows this plug to burn a lot more efficiently. Um, it burns more completely and faster than just your regular traditional spark plug. And of course, when you're having a more complete burn, a faster burn, you're gonna net more power from your engine. Um, you're gonna be more efficient, a little bit better at fuel economy, let's say if you're gonna put these in a car, um, as well as you're gonna just burn more completely, you're gonna have less emissions. And of course, if any of you guys were wondering, this video is not sponsored at all, I didn't get these for free or anything like that, I bought these. Um, I'm just genuinely interested in this sort of stuff and I think from the data I've seen and the reviews that I've seen, the E3 plug is, uh, a little bit more superior than just your average NGK spark plug or standard traditional design. 
But of course, here comes my shameless plug. If you guys want to try out some E3 plugs or at least look into it, I'll throw a link in the description along with um, a data sheet that has like pretty much every year make model of every power sport you could imagine. Um, so you can try or investigate E3 plugs for what you have. If you're wondering what plug to use for the Raptor 700, it is an E3.38. And before I forget, I do want to mention um, the obvious difference on the top of the plug. So this is what the Raptor 700 has, and that's what the Raptor 700's plug is designed for, is this. And the E3 has this, so you're like, oh, it's definitely not going to work. Not true. We just have to grab a hold of this spark plug right here and screw this off the top, and this plug will look exactly like this plug. So what I'm going to do is hold one side with the wrench and then grab the other side with the pliers and screw this top off the E3 plug. And it's definitely on there kind of tight, so um, once you get it, then it just comes off. But the first bit is a little bit difficult. Alright, so there we go. There is the top. Alright, so one final thing we want to do before we go ahead and screw our new plug into our Raptor is compare them. Um, you always want to do that with spark plugs just to make sure. So just hold them up right next to each other, line up those uh, bottoms, and make sure that they're the same length. Because if they're not the same length, you're going to have a pretty big problem. And mine of course are, I have the right plug for the Raptor. So I'm going to go ahead and screw it right in. Alright, and once it's snug, go ahead and tighten it up. I don't have a specific torque spec for you guys, but don't overdo it and don't un underdo it. <laughs> Just do it till it's snug. And then, of course, let's go ahead and replace our rubber boot or socket, whatever you want to call it. And make sure it goes on there all the way. And you'll hear it snap in over those threads. All right, there we go. It is installed. Let's go ahead and start it up. All right, guys, the E3 plug is installed. It was a little bit rough starting up there just because I haven't started the quad in like two weeks and it's like 20, 25 degrees outside. But later this week, I'm planning on taking the quad for a ride and we'll test out the E3 plug. Um, I'm sure I'll be able to notice a difference just because of the fact that it's not a four-year-old spark plug anymore. But if you guys want to give them a shot, uh, there is a link in the description along with the spreadsheet for your specific quad or motorcycle. Go ahead, try them out if you ever need a new spark plug, give them a shot. As always, thanks for watching guys and thanks for 10,000 subscribers. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below and I will see you guys next Saturday.